we are back. And this time, we've got a sponsor. First shipment in from LMR. So, as some of you guys know, I have mentioned it on uh, I think uh, Instagram already, and maybe in one of my other videos. Uh, we kind of have a sponsorship deal with uh, LMR. Now, this isn't a full sponsorship. What this is is, is basically they're just kind of testing the waters with me. Let's go ahead and get this box opened up and see what we got. Now, I know what this is, obviously, but. This is something that I asked for from LMR because, you know, I'm still trying to keep it budget. So I need you guys to understand, although, you know, we have a sponsorship or a par partial sponsorship right now, I'm still trying to keep things budget. Uh, there were a couple other different versions that were more expensive. I chose to go with the cheapest because like I told you before, you know, my channel's about keeping it budget, right? So let's just keep it real. One simple box. So what could be in this box that is so small that I really want it? It's pretty heavy too, by the way. We have a hood strut kit. So I feel like this is something that is kind of often overlooked and some of you guys may not be interested in it. But uh, to me, this makes things so much more convenient. You know, you don't have to worry about your hood prop getting in the way and whatnot. These things mount pretty far back and uh, it allows you to just lift your hood up and it obviously stays up on its own like a lot of newer vehicles and like actually the rear of the car. So uh, I've actually never installed any of these before so uh, we'll just see how it goes. Now I do know this, uh, these use the existing mounting hardware on your car. I wanted, to, I wanted to keep this thing kind of small and simple and cheap for you guys. Um, I think these run about 60 bucks or so. I will, uh, like I said, I will have a link in the description below for you guys if you're interested in this for you to check out. But first off, let's get the car backed out and then we'll go ahead and start installing this. I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about the LMR sponsorship. What does that mean? What is it? So what it is, is it's kind of like a trial uh, period for me. I'm sure you've seen some of the guys with their with other channels that have gotten stuff from LMR and it's kind of like a trial period. So that's kind of what's going on with me right now. Um, my channel is not that big, so I really do appreciate LMR even giving me a chance. But to make this work, it's going to require you guys. It's going to require help from you guys. To be completely honest with you, I'm okay either way. I appreciate the sponsorship. I think we can do great things with it. It helps lighten the load for me instead of having to buy all these parts, you know, out of pocket. Uh, you know, LMR helping me out. Obviously helps me provide content for you guys. So I think you would appreciate it. You guys know I have always used LMR anyway. So, I mean, this is just, it's, it's perfect. It's the perfect match really, because I push them anyway uh, without them even sending me anything. So. What's gonna have to happen is you guys are gonna have to click this link and this is how it's gonna work. Let's just say you need to order something from LMR and uh, you're like, okay, I need to go to the site and order it. What you can do is you can come back to this video if you remember and you can click that link and then you can go in and order whatever it is that you want while you're there. You don't have to order these hood struts, you can order something else. I will never ask you guys to go order something, buy something that you wouldn't be interested in getting yourself, okay? But if you're gonna order something, if you don't mind and you would like for me to keep this sponsorship, click the link and then go purchase whatever it is that you were gonna buy. Just being completely transparent with you guys, this is how it works. It's completely up to you. If you guys don't want me to keep the sponsorship, you want me to keep grinding it out on my own, we'll do that because ultimately it's up to you. I want to go ahead and let everybody know uh, everything about this car before we get started because I know I have some new subscribers. So. Uh, this car is freshly painted by myself and my dad and my brothers. 
Um, this is vermilion red. This is the brightest of the vermilion red up top. And that is the titanium silver on the bottom. Now that titanium silver is no longer called titanium silver, uh, at least not from the company that I use to get my paint. It's actually called Silver Frost Metallic. So uh, those are LMR uh, 17 by 10 and 17 by nine anniversary wheels. And that is Memphis. Um, we just got this car painted. Um, I'm working on wet sanding and buffing it as we speak right now. Uh, I've got the sides done, but I do not have the, the hood done and I do not have the roof done. The car has LEDs in it. I will also put a link in the description for you guys if you're interested in these LEDs on this car. They are extremely bright. I'll show you that right here. Now, as you can see, that bright white light. And yes, I do have some oil leaks. That has got to be done here pretty soon. But anyway, that's another video. But look how bright that is. Really nice. So, it's a 1990 Mustang GT, as you can see. Um, the car was in decent shape whenever I got it, but it just needed some TLC. It needed some love. The paint was looking kind of faded on it. Uh, clear coat was peeling off of it. And uh, we just kind of took it, gave it a little bit of love, straightened out the body on the car, painted it, wet sanded it, and buffed it. Now, these lights are the 8485, if I'm not mistaken, tail lights. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. But uh, I just wanted something a little bit different. Also has LED tag lights in the car. I know that's simple, but a lot of guys ask about it. Interior wise, uh, we have seats out of a 2009 six cylinder car. I think what they come out of. They're non powered. Uh, we have the 5.0 uh, floor mats in the car. I know that's nothing big, but just telling you guys. Uh, have LEDs in the dash. That's why they're so bright. And we have LED light up here. The car is pretty stock other than that. It's even still got the stock shifter in it. Now we do have an aftermarket short throw shifter for the car, but I have not yet installed that. It's actually a budget shifter that come off of Amazon for like 40 bucks, I think it was. So we still have that coming up. Now, I'm not trying to spend all day on this, but I do just kind of want to fill you guys in on what we do. This is a budget channel. Um, we work on Fox bodies, Mustangs, Terminators, you name it. I mean, this is kind of what we do, but mainly Fox bodies and Terminators because that's what we have. Also, I want to say thank you to everyone and all the best wishes and everything else that were sent to uh, myself and my family. Uh, this is my son, Krager, right here behind me. Um, he's, uh, he don't really like the camera so much, but that's okay. We're not gonna stick the camera in his face today, but he's here helping me out, kind of video and whatnot. But I really appreciate it. Myself, my whole entire family appreciates all the kind words that uh, everyone sent to me uh, through Instagram and through Messenger and whatnot. So thank you very much. The baby is fine. My wife is fine. Everything is good. So uh, we will be getting back to the videos here pretty soon. Uh, you'll probably see this video. This will probably be it for a week. And then we'll kind of start to kick back off and resume, kind of pick up where we were uh, once everything kind of levels out. So welcome to the channel. Okay, well, that didn't work out. All right, I'm gonna hand the phone over to Krager. He's going to video me installing these hood struts. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys, so on this installation, there's really only two things you need. That's a 10 millimeter and an eight millimeter. That's it. You don't have to drill out any holes. You don't have to do anything. You just use the existing hardware that you have on the car. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And because I get confused on this, I assume there's other people in the world that get confused on this. So right hand is the passenger side, and that's just the way it works. Left hand is gonna be your driver's side. So always remember that because I know a lot of people get confused. So the first thing is you just wanna remove this top bolt right here out of the top of your uh, hinge. I'm gonna remove it. As you guys have noticed, I did take the hood liner off the car here. Uh, it had overspray on it, it looked really bad. And you honestly, if you're gonna run the hood liner under here, you kinda have to trim it out right up through here so that this piece fits. So you have to cut a section of your hood liner out. So just went ahead and took that off. So you just wanna get it started. Tighten it down. That's it. So then you're gonna swap over to your eight millimeter. You're gonna take this bolt out right here on the back of your pin. Now 
This is going to lay down like this on your fender, like that. Just put the bolt back in. It's pretty simple. That's how that'll work. All right, guys, so all you're going to do then is simply pop these on. It really doesn't matter which way it goes. Uh, I'm going to put the actual strut part down at the bottom and as you can see they just they just push on that's all there is to it okay so that is installed we're gonna go ahead and move to the other side do the same thing actually why don't we just listen to some music while I do this because nobody wants to watch me do this anyway All right, so everything is on. Now what we're gonna do is simply just take the hood prop off, cross our fingers, and I hope it stays up. <coughs> and there you go, guys. I'm gonna leave my hood prop on the car because I'm just, I just am. It's just easier to do that, it's out of the way. I like that, guys, that's, that's nice. That adds just enough tension on here. I like that. That's perfect. You know, that just cleans everything up. So if you're trying to work on the car, you can just kind of jump in there. You don't have to worry about anything getting in your way. Now this is the budget kit. Uh, I think it was about 55 bucks or so. Uh, there will be a link below for you guys uh, if you're interested in it. Like I said, just please click the link. But these hood struts are uh, they're pretty damn nice. I've always wanted some, but it's just one of these things where you know, you want it, but you just never buy them. It's just like, it just falls to the bottom of your list, I guess, of your to-do list. So uh, I just thought, you know what, let's go ahead and give them a shot and see how it works. I really like this. And for whatever reason, and I know this sounds crazy, but it really opens the front of the car up. I know you're thinking it's just a small hood prop, but it really does. It opens it up. Craig, you're lift, the, uh, lift the hood prop back up and like just stick it up there in the hood like you normally would. And I know it doesn't look like much, but look at that though. That's in your way, you can't really work. I like it, I like it a lot, perfect. Anyway guys, with that being said, we're gonna end this video. I wanna give a big shout out to my son, Craig, for the help, and as always, Memphis for the background noise because that's how it goes. But uh, a lot of great things still coming for the channel, guys. Uh, you know, we got the newborn, so I'm kinda tired, you know, kinda out of it. You know how it goes, right? But uh, we will have some things coming up here pretty soon for you guys. Remember, we still have my dad's car to do. So I have all the carpet. I know it's a freaking mess over here, guys. But I have all the carpet and uh, the floor mats, just new pieces here and there for my dad's car. So we'll have that coming up here pretty soon. Got LED lights over here for his car. It's going to be great. Also, one quick thing. I have a foam can. Now, I went ahead and did this. I went ahead and ordered a foam cannon. Are you guys interested in a foam cannon video? Is that something you guys would like to see? I'll throw up a picture right here of my car uh, whenever I use the foam cannon on it. This is like 80 bucks right here, and the foam cannon was like 15 to 20 bucks, something like that on Amazon. If that's something that you guys would like to see reviewed or talked about, I can absolutely make a video on that for you. Guys, I'm going to go in and try to get some sleep because it has been a rough night. I'm running off about two hours of sleep. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching.